Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We've got this loading screen. We've got the swaps program already. We know that Winter Wildcards is coming. And what I want to do today is actually talk about this promo and break it down and explain why this Winter Wildcards promo has so much hype. We're going to take a look down memory lane and revisit FIFA 22 Winter Wildcards and just remind you of how absolutely insane this promo was and why there is hype for it starting in the next couple of days on FIFA 23. So we're going to look at a lot of that information, but also the current state of the game with EA doing something kind of crazy yesterday, dropping not one, but two gamble packs, one in SBCs, one in the store, but the one in SBCs was delayed. Is that going to become a trend or is that a one-off thing? I want to speak about that and of course the market in general, what to expect today on Wednesday and what we saw take place yesterday as it was a bit of a quieter day of content but with that kind of campaign pick coming in later, the market did end up moving in a couple different ways. So we're going to discuss all of that and more in today's video if you're excited for it and if you're excited for winter wild cards, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about this promo and take you down memory lane. Well, we already have a website for this year's Winter Wild Cards in FIFA 23, of course, because they've explained the Winter Wild Cards swaps program. And that is what made Winter Wild Cards really, really great last year. It was the first time that we had like a promo specific swaps program. We ended up seeing it so many times during the rest of the year. One big part about this promo is they put out players that are fun, right? Here, it's very broad what kind of players they can put out, right? They say the holidays are coming. New players you can add to their wish, your wish list. Celebrate the gift of football with two teams, right? Confirming two teams of Winter Wildcard players that bring festive flair to your ultimate team squad. And if you remember these guys from last year, these cards were basically a huge bump to the power curve. These guys weren't, you know, some of the biggest and most popular names in the sport of football. Yes, they're well known, but like players that you would normally not use that much like Fabinho, right? Nobody was using this Fabinho card last year because he had 67 pace, right? As a CDM, they move him to a center forward, give him great shooting stats and an insane pace boost. And, uh, and of course, drop the defense as well because they made him more of an attacker, made him four star, four star. And all of a sudden you have an insane card that people were paying 400, 500,000 coins for, uh, when he was in packs right away. So that's the hype with this promo. We get some crazy cards that nobody ever expects. And last year when we saw it for the first time, they just released so many crazy cards that were cheap, but had insane, insane stats. And it what it didn't just stop with team number one. Team number two was nuts as well. This Morales card, I mean, for as cheap as what this card was, this was one of the best strikers in the game at the time. 60K, 50K while he was in packs, 91 pace, 90 shooting, 90 dribble. The card like that flies under the ra radar, but Hazard, Martial, Gendozi, it's so many people remember this card, right? The Lucas Mora, the Alessandrini, who was a budget beast as a French striker, even though he didn't have that great of links, just the players that were in packs were only part of the equation of why this promo is so good but look at these stats guys like almost every single player has one if not two stats that are either right at 90 or above 90 Zlatan 90 pace 92 shooting 88 passing 89 dribbling 89 physical right you know so many of these cards had absolutely insane stats and a lot of people remember this promo last year as just kind of resetting the market because so many people wanted to go out and get these cards because it pushed the power curve in the meta to a whole new place as these card stats were absolutely nuts. Now, is Winter Wild Cards going to do that this year? Who knows? We do, of course, have some leaks. And I'm going to take you guys through a couple of these leaks. We've looked at these already, but just really fast. We've got a St. Maximin card, right? 93 pace, 91 dribble. That looks like a pretty good boost. We've got an Adama Traore, a lot of pace once again, a lot of dribbling. And then some of the most recent links that, leaks that we have had, we got a Pepe leak yesterday. That card, it looks pretty decent. It doesn't look absolutely nuts, but it looks decent. We got a Varane leak. This is a big one, right? A lot of people are excited about this. A sizable increase in stats for Varane. Now, the stats might not look pop off the page absolutely incredible to you, but 85 pace, 89 defense, and 84 physical on an already overpowered Varane center back card. This is going to be a card that a lot of people will want to go out and get. It's going to be pretty expensive. A couple of the other ones we've seen recently, Kimmich, that's going to be a very good card, even without the pace. People are going to undervalue this card because of the pace, but he's going to be great in game. Robertson, five-star skills, by the way. This card is rumored and leaked to have. Premier League left back. Again, I'm flying through these because we've already looked at a lot of them, but here's the last one and the biggest one. 
Karim Benzema. Big upgrade for him. First promo special card of the year. This promo looks to be almost as hype as it was last year. I still think, though, that on some of these cards, EA could do a little bit more of a juice, right? I think that on the Varane card, they could give him a little bit better stats. On this Pepe, they could give him a little bit better stats, but there's still a lot of players to be leaked yet and a lot of news and stuff that we have to figure out, so we don't know the full story yet for this year's team, but it's looking at least pretty good, right? With some big-name players and some solid boosts. Now, one of the biggest parts of Winter Wild cards last year was the SBCs. We had daily player SBCs. You thought the cards and packs were great. The SBCs took this promo to the insane level that it was. This SBC was by far the most liked SBC. You can see 16,000 thumbs up for this hour. So many people did this. I mean, you look at a card like that in SBCs for 128,000 coins. The reason why Winter Wild Cards was the number, number one promo last year was the daily SBC content, the cost of those SBCs, the stats on the SBCs, and just the general hype, right? Remember the Zaha card? Absolutely destroyed the market on the Friday of Winter Wild Cards when it came out. Just like we saw with Di Maria, so many left-sided players dropped in price last year at this time because this Zaha came out. So 140K for this card, five-star skills, four-star weak foot. People were excited for that one. You had the Jabril So SBC, the Atebo. How many of you guys remember this Kaza card, right? A French center back with 85 pace, 87 defense, and 85 uh, physical for 100,000 coins. Very craftable, super OP in game. Um, a couple other SBC cards that we had. We had the Pandev SBC, which was purely hype just because the stats were nuts. And he was 40K to do, right? Really, really insane. He was almost uh, like fodder, right? Uh, we had a DACA card. That was actually in the swaps program. We even had this McGloyer. English center back with 91 pace, but that was where the hype was last year with this promo it was the daily SBC content, right? It was basically daily. It might not have been every single day, but it was just about daily and the players were insane. Now it doesn't say anything this year about daily SBCs yet. It just says that team one is going to drop on Friday and team two is going to be next Friday. So it is again, a confirmed two week promo. I think we still have a lot more leaks to come. And, and may I remind you and say this, that the cards that we just looked at in that team one and team two of winter wild cards last year, Pau Torres, Nelson Semedo, Nia Kate, Luca Bacchio, Tuan Zebe, Jonathan David, right? Some of these players are not cards that mo that got used that often in FIFA, but they got really insane boosts during winter wild cards, or just kind of boosts that made their cards usable for once. And it made the promo really, really hype. And it made those players really hype. So I would just say for starters right now, when we see these leaks of these players, we're going to have to see a lot more, right? But again, it's all about the stats on the cards because guys like that at table that we had last year, one of the most upvoted SBCs um, of winter wild cards. Uh, this guy had a silver base card last year, I think, as well. And he's got a silver base card this year, right? A card like this might end up being the star of Winter Wild Cards. That was what brought the hype to the promo. So we're maintaining, um, you know, our cautiousness with the hype because the leaks look good so far, but we need to see more. So definitely keep an eye on leaks. But that is why this promo is so hype. Now, not even to mention that we have the swaps program going on at the same time. We have some really good rewards. We've got three tokens available already. I expect to see another token drop in the game today i actually on stream yesterday a couple people opened their 81 times 11 the three token reward i don't think there's a four token reward um, unless i'm mistaken four tokens is um, not one of the options in here but uh, i do think we're going to get our fourth token today and this also having the swaps program just con contributes to the hype of the promo in general now today let's let's turn the page right let's talk about today let's talk about the, the here and now on the market Yesterday, we had our third token dropped in the first owner fiesta. As we said in last night's video, I thought this was going to be the case, and it was. I've got a prediction for today. I think it's going to be another objective-based token today, and I think it's going to be in Silver Stars. I think they're going to move this uh, Silver Stars to the Milestones tab today. This is just my guess. Um, I could be wrong again, but we were right with yesterday, so I figured I'd take a shot for it again today. EA said that Silver Stars would be a place where these tokens would feature. So get your Silver Squads ready if you want to trade with Silvers. Watch out for Silver Cards because some of them might be moving as people will have, there'll be extra demand for people to go play silver stars today if there is an objective token in there like there is with this first owner fiesta also just a quick note if you have got your one game i just did this if you've won your one game people can only get 12 games per week to try to get this card you have 12 games in this friendly mode 
to get this card. You have to win one of them, right? That's not easy for a lot of people. So go and gift your games. Like I don't see EA using the homegrown 11 uh, live mode for any other uh, objectives throughout the week this week. So if you've played the games you want to play, go ahead and give some W's. That might be really, really helpful to somebody who's trying to grind for that token. So just, just be nice there and do some of that stuff. It goes a long way and can help a lot of people out. So that's where I think you might see the token today is in the Silver Stars. Now, what else could we see today, right? We've had the same loading screen for the past couple of days. And most often, Wednesday, Wednesdays aren't days where they update a loading screen. I'm not even going to, I don't even know if it's going to show for me right now. The, the loading screens have been glitchy lately, but it's just been the car design, right? And that's all it's shown us. Could we get an update to that today? Maybe. There's a small possibility for that. The biggest piece of content that we know is coming today is a refresh of an already released SBC, and that is the 85 plus semi-final uh, World Cup pack, right? This one is the one that made the informs rise earlier in the week on Monday. I do think there is a great opportunity for that to happen again today. So this is what we were talking about earlier in the week. If you have informs in your club that you have not sold off yet, I still have a couple. Um, I sold a lot of them earlier in the week, but I still have a couple of those informs. Informs are still right now around 18,000 coins a piece. So again, I think that this is a great opportunity to sell some of these cards today. People are going to go out and do the 85 plus again, and informs could potentially rise even higher. So keep a close eye on the inform market today. Might be a great time to sell those cards off once again. And then we have to talk about content on yesterday, right? We talked about this campaign bag that EA dropped and just the fact that it was delayed, right? That's what I want to kind of transition to talking about now is the World Cup campaign player pick. It was delayed an hour yesterday. And this SBC is one that's kind of shaking up the market a bit because it's an SBC that so many people are going and doing. It's two squads. 83, 84 rated, you need two 86s as a part of the 84 squad, which makes it like, if you think about it, you need a couple 86s, then you throw in the rest 83s and like one or two 84s, and boom, you have an 84 rated squad. Very easy. You can get an 83 rated squad done very easy as well. 58k for this. Is it a no-brainer SBC? Technically, the value is very medium, right? It's a mid value, but it's cheap and there's potential to get something good. So it's one that you probably go want to go ahead and do and you can get it done so easy that so many people are going out and doing it. And uh, the way that I'm seeing it impact the market is first on fodder, right? Take a look at 83s, 1.3K. These guys are up a lot. They were like 850, 900 coins. Some of them are even selling for like 1.5K at the moment. Those could go up a little bit further today as people see this player pick that maybe didn't yesterday when they logged off. Maybe they get on today, they see it, they want to get it done. Also with the 85 plus coming back, that might bring a little more demand in for the 83s and the 84s and the 85s. So keep a close eye on your low tier fodder. That is what is demand. And of course, 86s are in demand right now too, because since they are required in that player pick, people are going out and buying them. Like you see Laporte was like 13K, boom, up to 15,000 coins. A lot of these cards, I thought they might've gone a little bit higher and they still could maybe today. But I mean, if you bought 86s, this is a really, really nice SBC to take the profits on. And then of course, 84s from earlier in the week when they were like 2.5K, you are loving life if you, if you bought 84s um, and you're seeing those cards move up nicely. Now, the flip side of the coin is there's not as much demand for this high tier fodder 88s are back down at like 26, 25,000 coins. And I think I even have heard some people talking about investing in these. And here's what I have to say about this. I mean, right now in this game, if you think about where we are, we're in the middle of the week. We don't get too many SBCs that would require high rated squads at this part of the week. I mean, there's a, there's a chance for it. I mean, there always is. EA could drop whatever SBCs they want, but I just feel like it's such a slim chance that these cards would rise before the weekend, which is when they're going to get supplied a lot. A lot of people are going to be saving packs for winter wild cards because they see the leaks. They know how the promo team was in previous years. I think that fodder this weekend on the high tier could be headed lower. Now, we're not there yet, so I'm not saying you have to panic sell. I still have fodder on my transfer list that I'm lazy listing. And I mean, I'll show you my transfer list. Guys, I'm getting sales, right? 91s at 59K, 88s at 30,000 coins. They're like 26K, right? I bought these guys for like 26, 27,000 coins and I'm getting the lazy sales at 29. So keep lazy listing, you'll get sales. 
I see, you see, I still have a lot of these cards here on my transfer list, or at least a few. Um, yeah, I see, I see have a few more back here. I'm getting the lazy sale. So continue to lazy list this stuff, list it for three, four, five thousand coins, maybe a little bit less than 5K, but three to 4K over what it's actually selling at, you will still get sales um, every a couple sales a day, and it's worth it, right? And besides, I'm just gonna keep holding on to that fodder, whatever does not sell, I'm probably just gonna hold on to it so that you know I'll have a chance to make profit on it next week when EA drop more SBCs. Since I got it at a low enough price that I feel comfortable with holding on, you know, we'll just kind of hold on to that. So that's what's going on with the fodder market. Low tier is up, high tier is down, but I would invest in the high tier just because I don't see it rising before the weekend when a lot of supply is going to come onto the market. Now, let's take a look at like the meta side of the market. Some of you guys maybe were trading yesterday or trying to flip some cards, and it feels like the market hit our peak. Uh, I think we hit the peak of the market for the week. Um, honestly, like at content time or maybe in the morning yesterday before they dropped that SBC, the campaign pick, right? Because guys like Casemiro with 160,000 coins, especially for these team of the tournament cards, a lot of them have gone back down. Harry Kane yesterday was 137K after content when people thought it was going to be a quiet day. 137,000 coins. He's been falling since that SBC dropped. He's now back to 120. That's a card I've been keeping my eye on. Dalo is 120K. Um, I mean, Bowden was 293, right, in last night's video. Now he is 272. Dumfries is down. Casemiro, Amrabat is down. Uh, this guy was like 40,000 coins. Now he is 20. 7k i think he's going to keep going lower as well and if you take a look at some of these cards from the phenoms these guys are out of packs but they are down as well jude bellingham just actually bounced up a little bit he was like 530k after he was falling since content yesterday and still a little bit low there and a lot of these cards are just kind of like chilling they're not going up anymore i really feel like yesterday and monday night even was kind of like our peak for the week on these cards because as we get closer and closer to winter wild cards more and more people if you remember it guys we first had the first winter wild cards weeks leaks like a week and a half ago that is what started the whole sell-off on the market that we are witnessing right now like if we take a look at this essential card the sell-off that we started to see like right here last week it was part of it was because of the winter wild cards leaks right now of course we had the Di maria over the weekend and all that crazy stuff that dropped prices really low but it was the leaks about winter wild cards that started this whole panic selling process on cards on the market in the first place so um i think that that like we talked about earlier the prices are probably going to stay decently low throughout the rest of this week and i wouldn't really imagine that this week is going to be a great time to buy a lot of cards unless we start to see and learn that the winter wild cards promo does not look that good which i feel like the potential of that being the case is low but it's still a potential possibility so we have to keep an eye out for it i do think there are some of those phenoms cards some of the team of the tournament cards um that do look very low in price and i think could end up rebounding like remember what we saw last week with the phenoms cards right um Dalo is obviously not a phenom but like you know militao and kunde and kamavinga those cards rose up right away after content last week when we saw that the content that was dropped was just okay last Friday. And some of the cards that were released were nice, but not as nice as some of the Phenoms from the week before. If the Winter Wild cards this Friday is not that great, I think we could see some of these cards from Phenoms and some of the Team of the Tournament cards actually go up in price, you know, if that is the same situation as we had last week. Now, we'll have to see, though, because, again, completely different week. There's a lot of save packs this week. That's something to keep in mind as we get towards the weekend. There are a lot of save packs on this game for this upcoming Friday promo of Winter Wild Cards. So that is just kind of what's going on with the market right now. I'd be a little bit careful. Look again, we got another lazy sale here. Who do we sell this time? We sold, I think, Chiesa. Boom, 4,200. Bang, right? A couple um, hundred coins over what he's selling for. So keep getting those lazy sales on fodder. And this is probably not a terrible time to sell a few cards from your team if you really want to. Again, I specifically want to point out some of these brand new uh, upgrades on the dynamic images on these uh path to glory cards pushed them up even higher yesterday romero's 330k he went up 50,000 coins because ea put a picture of him on his dynamic card of him kissing the world cup trophy super sick right uh of course the dynamic image upgrades for acuna for enzo that's drawing some even additional hype to those cards and what i would have to say is again if you have Syria cards or argentinian players that are up big 
I would I would look to take the cash. I really would if they're tradable that are in your club, in your team. It is a decent time to take the money on those because I just feel like we're in that peak stage of hype for a lot of those cards on this game. So again, I shout out to Lissandro Martinez, the Lautaro Martinez, these guys that are up just so much because of this extra hype. It's going to come down at some point, and especially this weekend with Winter Wild Cards, people's motivations and uh, that what's meta on the game is going to get pulled so many different ways if the content looks pretty good. So that is something I would keep an eye on. And keep an eye on the rest of the market as prices maybe kind of you know, go a little bit lower in the next two days, or maybe just stay a little bit stagnant and kind of not move that much. Keep a close eye on some of your hero cards, some of your most meta and popular cards that are down a time just because of the hype change, right? With all the Syria links, keep a close eye on some of those because if hype comes back to maybe like, let's say La Liga or the Premier League this weekend, then some of those cards could end up moving back up in price. So it's not a terrible time to be liquid at all. Um, I'm probably going to be getting some of these flips sorted, um, selling the fodder that I can end up selling. I got a Roberto Carlos that I'm still trying to flip at the moment and a couple other random special cards here, but nothing super crazy. I need to lower this on Lozano. I'm listing for a way too high of a lazy. Let's go 57K. That's a bit more believable, right? So keep listing stuff up. Um, and, you know, it's not, a, it's not a terrible idea to maybe get the coins out of your club and to be smart with it as we head into the weekend on this very hyped weekend of winter wild cards. So again, I just wanted to look through the promo that is upcoming and talk through that today. And of course, talk through all of the kind of craziness that happened yesterday with such an unexpected day. Hopefully that 2 p.m. content is not becoming a theme. Hopefully it was just a mistake yesterday, but we will have to see. And hopefully we get some big news from EA today about winter wild cards. I would just love some leaks, some news, something to get us more hyped for Friday because it's building, but we need like some more stuff, right? Come on. Like we need a little bit more to make Friday sound like it's going to be an absolute baller of a day, which I really, really hope that it is. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up on a comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been the Nathan Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.